Hello everyone, how's everyone doing? So today's replay comes from Jacob Peter. He is playing the Empire with 2,500 troops holding out in the Imperial City of Betachef against the Vog Men of the North, which do include many elite troops. This is during a campaign playthrough. And he faces off against 7,000 enemy soldiers. As we begin to load in here, I hope. Uh, did, did Total War just go boop? No, it didn't. Already it has begun. The Chaos Siege Towers rolling towards them. There are so many units on the battlefield that I am literally already lagging. Wow. Mortar rounds flying out. The Reichsguard cavalry waiting in position as the handgunners open fire, trying to gun down as many Norsemen as they can, charging across the battlefield at full freaking speed. Much of the Empire Wall is covered in great swords. Halberds and handgunners hoping to hold their ground against the impending chaos tide. Now, as many of you can see, there are so many units here right now that I, my machine is chugging hard. Right now, there are, there are over 6,000 soldiers on the field, and every single chaos unit slain is going to result in an increasingly larger and larger chaos formations marching onto the battlefield. As we see here with this massive chaos army that's just now registering its leadership scores as they begin to register onto the battle zone. Look at how many of them there are. All men of the north. None of them chaos chosen or warriors, but by sheer weight of numbers, perhaps they can overwhelm the walls. Oh, look! These Chaos Marauders are already fleeing as they are gunned down. Meanwhile, the trolls are hard at work upon the mighty gates, hoping to break them down and unleash their fury with a group of halberds standing nervously behind the gates, praying they can hold the line. Handgunners continuing to do their work while the, uh, Halberts hold out against any further ladder assault. It is really hoped by the Empire that the handgunners will completely deplete their ammunition before the enemy can breach the walls as these horsemen continue to hurl javelins back at the handgunners, inflicting a casualty here or there. Meanwhile, over here down on this side of the wall, it is owned like Donkey Kong as more Chaos Trolls are bashing away at the gate. And once again, inside the gate, we can see that Jacob has carefully positioned his halberds, waiting the charge of the mighty trolls. And over here, there it is! There it is! The gate is destroyed! They are coming through right now with everything they have. Chaos trolls and warhounds, as well as soldiers of chaos and marauders, piling into the gate. Hoping to break the defenders right here and now. The halberds desperately trying to push them back. There are so many units visibly on the battlefield. There's nowhere on this battlefield right now that I am not having frame rate loss. Holy crap. And this is just the first wave of chaos. While the Empire might do well here, there are going to be continuously larger and larger numbers of chaos troops pouring into the battlefield as other units and formations fall and retreat. And they know it. They know that they can't afford very many casualties right here as this... Oh, this poor, poor Halbert. His story ending here, face down in the mud, with his friend beside him. Oh, God. Wow. They are, they are now getting murdered. The trolls kicking, punching, puking, bashing, trying to smash their way in. And the long swords now. Swordsmen and spearmen forming up. Hoping to create a barrier of human shields, halberds, and long weapons 
to keep the enemy at bay. Meanwhile, Chaos Charioteers trying to get enough room to maneuver to run down infantry. And it's simply not working. There's so much piled into this gate now. It is nearly an unstoppable tide from both directions. Neither team willing to give up any ground. Meanwhile, at our other gatehouse, it is just broken. And the trolls are coming charging in, facing a lone unit of halberds. Who are thrown to their backs! How many will get up? How many won't? Oh! Oh, they're just being hurled away from the combat now! As Chaos Marauders pour in behind the trolls and hoping to support their, their trollish brethren, their trollish blessed of Nurgle, who fight tirelessly, it seems. Oh, but one troll is face down in the dust and it looks like he's dead. He is in fact slain forever. Oh, it takes so much effort and so many souls to kill a single troll and here come, here come the Marauders. With more Marauders waving in, this gate seems hopeless. What, well, there is Reichsguard here. Reichsguard Cavalry, assisted by a captain. Waiting the order to charge. Waiting for those halberds to finally break and give. Meanwhile, back at our other gate. It seems as though these spearmen have been called off to surround and prepare to prevent anyone from escaping through. As the halberd line continues to bow outward away from the gate, being pushed further and further back. And we hear the mortar rounds and we see the crossbow fire all of it raining in look at how much is going on on this battlefield here we see more halberds holding the line as best they can oh no no the chaos warriors the chaos marauders are in amongst the the handgunners the halberds are unable to get to the front part of the line and here it goes this section of gate is falling it is collapsing there are simply too few halberdiers to hold it. However, the enemy is running headlong into a large formation of swords. Followed up by an even larger formation of swords. So many empire swords being brought to bear. But this section of wall, can it hold? Can they withstand the push of the marauders as they slowly get pushed back to the back of the wall, possibly off of it? Oh, that has just evolved into chaos! I'm waiting on this Reichsguard cavalry to charge in to save the day. We can still see more chaos units as the previous waves are slain, pouring onto the battlefield, rushing forward to try to get through the broken gates, to clamor up the ladders and siege towers, to reinforce the attack! The spearmen here prepare their charge, but then are called off as the halberds lay another troll low, finishing him down and making sure he stays down. Charioteer here trying to push through the sheer wall of human flesh and shield and metal and is being denied such a chance as the chaos trolls flee from the first gate. Meanwhile, at the second gate, over here, they're holding, oddly enough. They're holding. A, the captain has rushed into combat and is helping to hold the very gate itself, denying the chaos the chance to push into the great city. He is an engineer, and he will have his day in the light of combat as more marauders and more marauder horsemen pour onto the battlefield. Reichsguard cavalry held in reserve, waiting for their moment, their shining beacon, to be ready to blast through the enemy ranks when the time has been called for. Mortar fire continuing to pour out in hopes that they can stem the tide of marauders rushing forward. And they're still coming into the battlefield. The enemy has not actually decreased very much in number at all. They are still pouring onto this battlefield, wave after wave of marauders. This battle could go on for quite a bit. How long before the halberds are completely exhausted and will be forced to collapse as a chaos hound 
that nearly broke through the lines is denied and thrown over the shoulder of a spearman skewered upon his pike. Oh. The, the chaos forces seem to be losing steam as the trolls rush back in trying to reinforce their lines and perhaps terrify the halberds into submitting. Meanwhile, at the second gate, the chaos have actually been pushed back. The marauders are all the way back at the entrance to the gate, being forced to fight there, while the Reichsguard cavalry have joined the fray, pushing their infantry forward, shoving their way through the ranks in order to bring their lances to bear. Over here, these units leave the walls, having successfully defended them for now. And now the enemy must cross a sheer line of incoming handgunner fire, as I believe the handgunners are starting to run low on ammunition. As a matter of fact, most of the handgunner units are completely out of ammo. They have fired every single shot they possibly can, and it's up to the crossbowmen to deliver any more remaining shots they have as more and more fresh Chaos Warhounds pour onto this battlefield. We're up to 4,800 Chaos troops having poured onto this battlefield to try to break this city. And here, at the first gate, we can see it. The Imperial Line is breaking, preparing to shatter. The Reichsguard Cavalry fail to charge and instead get charged by Chaos Warhounds. Although they're extremely heavily armored, I doubt the Warhounds can inflict much damage, but now their mortars are exposed, firing at point-blank range. Literally, barely getting an arc and landing in the midst of Chaos forces, hoping to stem a tide that has overwhelmed the initial wall. Oh god, and the mortars are dying, being slain by great weapons as more and more Chaos Hounds pour into the Reichsguard Calvary! The Spearmen, disorganized, disoriented, they may very well not be prepared to launch this counterattack that needs to happen right now. Meanwhile, the second gate is not only held, but the Reichsguard Calvary and the initial units of Halberds and Spearmen have pushed the enemy so far back and bottlenecked them. The problem is, of course, they're engaged, and if these Spearmen break, they will be outflanked and slammed in the rear by oncoming Chaos forces. More Warhounds pouring onto the battlefield along with a fresh unit of trolls. In addition to more Chaos Marauders, we must be over 6,000 troops of the forces of Chaos. We're at 5,400 troops of the forces of Chaos have pushed to try to break this city. Over 700 Empire Defenders have fallen. As the Mortar Team is ravaged and near annihilation. They're fighting back as best they can. But they're not actually inflict- They've inflicted a single casualty it seems. Over here come the Warhounds! Against an unarmored unit of Mortars they are absolutely exposed and vulnerable. The mortars have given up! They're withdrawing! They're running for their lives! The first gate has slowly become a rout. Meanwhile, the second gate is holding with all of its might, pressing the forces of chaos back and forth as both teams, unsure of which side will own this gate, continue to hold out here. This Reichsguard cavalry unit having moved to reserve as this Spearman unit hangs on desperately against the Chaos Warhounds and the Chariots knowing that if they fall their allies will be charged in the rear they must do everything they can to keep this line the walls feeling renewed pressures as the Chaos Sorcerer himself has come up upon the walls and is facing his foes in melee combat. Armed with what appears to be a blood letter blade of corn and a staff of zinch. 
Talk about a very interesting Chaos Sorcerer. I want to know his backstory. Meanwhile, over here, the battle is pitched and definitely still in flux as a cha Chaos Champion wades into the fray. Wolfric of the Kel of the Kelveg is slaying his way forward, bashing apart the swordmen and the great swords that oppose him. Meanwhile, his Chaos Marauders continue to put pressure on the Halberds, even if they continue to hold the line. The archers of the Empire are steadily running out of ammunition. All but the reservist crossbowmen completely depleting everything they have, relying solely on the towers to inflict any damage on these Chaos units as they continue to encroach. More than 6,000 Chaos soldiers have now entered the fray as the Reichsguard are forced to face off against the fresh troll unit and the sheer wave after wave <coughs> excuse me look at this three four five six units of chaos hounds with a unit of chaos trolls being held at bay by a single Reichsguard cavalry that is slowly being decimated down to nothing Kill the creatures of chaos. oh but hope shines bright the Empire might yet do this as great swords charge into the sides and flanks along with halberdiers right into the flank of the enemy. The Chaos Warhounds starting to falter, starting to shake as they begin to break apart. The renewed vigor having restored the Reichsguard's faith and leaderships very slowly as the Chaos Warhounds are wavering, about to give in. Meanwhile, the Chaos Cavalry continues to hurl their lances up here at the crossbowmen, inflicting multiple, multiple wounds with their ranged attack, rather than charging into the enemy just yet, acting more as reservists. But here we see that the center of town has been exposed and left vulnerable. The spearmen that we're holding have faltered and shattered. So very few left of them. Eleven spears left standing. As the Reichsguard cavalry held in reserve continue to be held in reserve rather than be pushed into the enemy. I'm uncertain of the strategy behind that. But at the time, at present time, Oh, it appears as though the Warhounds and the Trolls may be turning the tide on this one. The flanking Halberdiers have routed. It is only the Reichsguard Cavalry who stand, and they are down to 14 men. 13 men! They are shaken and badly damaged. They cannot possibly hold against the Tide of Chaos here. There is simply no way. There's too many of them. If only this, these other Reichsguard Cavalry units could... Oh god, the Reichsguard Cavalry, rather than being charged, are being charged by great weapons! It is a desperate fight now! A fight simply for survival, rather than for defense of the city! As on all flanks, but the walls themselves... Chaos Marauders are breaking... The Chaos Sorcerer continues to stand true, and the Chaos Champion is no more. He has been brought low, which means that there is a chance if we can get these infantry off the walls and get these Reichsguard Cavalry into the fray, as the handgunners unload their very precious few remaining bullets at the Warhounds running away, hoping to inflict more casualties upon them. It will be done. The center city being held having moved back one of the reservist Reichsguard cavalry to hold the center city from the oncoming enemy advance. The Reichsguard on the right flank still refusing to give up until the last man is laid low. None of them still stand. A Halberdier unit, veteran, rank four, has turned around and has created a new defensive point back inside the city holding out against the forces of chaos who now number 6300 forces of chaos having stormed onto this battlefield 
The Warhounds 1v1 standing no chance and beginning to waver and falter as Chaos Chariots charge into the side, but then get countercharged by the Halbers themselves. They are not going to be able to stand up to this kind of punishment. Those poor Chaos Chariots are doomed, having been surrounded and engaged. Oh, it exploded! The explosion even brought down one of the Halberds right into his face. He's dead as the Warhounds return to re-engage the enemy, to re-engage their foes. Meanwhile, the engineer has moved up to this right flank and begun a desperate last stand. He is alone and outnumbered by everything, engaged by warhounds, cavalry, trolls, and with a fresh unit of enemy trolls storming right into the gates after him. He literally knows that he is doomed. He has nothing left to do but take as many of his foes with him as possible. Over here at the second gate though, the chaos has begun to whittle down. As you can see, the Imperial ranks are down to a single rank in some places. Barely one man standing between total collapse and holding the line. As the men on the walls wait for more chaos reinforcements, seeing if they will charge in or if they will attempt to storm the walls. The fight is very, very desperate. I think the commander of this battle has mismanaged his troops a bit in not bringing them off the walls and bringing them to bear in combat. As they desperately try to bring down the Chaos Sorcerer with everything they have, the Chaos troop count is finally dwindled. It looks like Chaos is broken! It looks like they've broken! With but a minute and 12 seconds left upon the clock, the Chaos Forces have broken and routed. Finally, with over 5,000 Chaos Troops lying face first in the ground, an entire formation of Reichsguard Cavalry having fought to the bitter end without one of their number retreating. There are so many bodies outside these gates. So many dead outside the wall, inside and outside the walls. The walls themselves are littered with so much death. Bodies upon bodies. It looks like a small genocide has occurred. As we can see here from an aerial view, those, none of those chaos troops are standing. Those are all dead men. Let's go take a look at the statistics here. Chaos charged into this battle with nearly 7,000 soldiers to face off against 2,700 defenders. Of those 7,000 soldiers, a scant 1,000 of the Chaos Marauder forces managed to escape alive. That very moment at the end when Chaos realized that they had no more troops coming, that their human wave tactic had failed, and they broke and routed. Chaos Champion inflicting 87 damn 87 kills. The poison that this single Marauder unit and these Marauder great weapons inflicting a huge amount of damage for their weight especially against the foes they were facing. Fastest Kunsten's army having performed the absolute poorest with only his charioteers inflicting a large number of casualties, the rest barely having inflicted any real damage. And Engar Frisk, slain on the battlefield, the Marauder Chieftain having inflicted over a hundred dead bodies around him with his elite Marauder unit surviving with 65 remaining. This is a campaign battle, by the way. These troops earned their stripes, and that's why they earned more. This is a campaign battle. It appears as though there is a single survivor of the Mortar team. That Reichsguard Cavalry unit fighting to the bitter end, inflicting 255 casualties. The Handgunners 
combined killing a thousand chaos troops on their own the great swords on the wall slaying almost 400 and the reservists within the city doing their part even going so far as to rank up one of their swordsmen having slain a decent number of troops what a fantastic battle i mean there was no point in this battle in which my machine which is a up to the date top of the line machine was not having trouble because of the sheer volume of soldiers on the battlefield i don't know what else to say this just the chaos human wave tactic completely faltered in face of the handgunners and the reichsguard cavalry as well as the great swords just literally able to hack their way through entire men with single hits so everyone did you have a good time please hit the like button seriously i want to try to see 50 likes on this video make sure you do it do it do it do it do it do it uh, if you like to see more stuff by me fiora you can subscribe it's a big red button you can subs it's just caress it it's, it's the color it's, it's the color of the tips of my hair seriously if you would like to see the previous Warhammer subs uh, subscriber replay, it's right there. And if you'd like to submit one, I have an email in the description below. Fiorthetankgirl at gmail.com. Send it to me! Give me some details in the email about it! Lastly, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so through Patreon! And any Patreon person, after two months, has the opportunity to become a moderator for my live streams. Uh... Or you can check out the advertiser at the end of the video by clicking on the ad and going and seeing. And maybe, who knows, you might find something you want to buy. Who knows, it could be Loot Crate. In the meantime, from my house to yours, this is Fiora. And I will see all of your lovely faces next time. Bye.